committed to becoming net zero by 2050. And for this reason, we have committed to offset our own emissions. And we would like to do this by not only looking in a tunnel vision and CO2 emissions, but also on a broader picture. Peatlands cover only three to four percent of our land area on the planet, but they contain roughly up to 30% of carbon in the, in the soil. This means it's very important to contain the carbon in the soil and keep it there. Roughly 12 to 15% of global peatlands have been drained or degraded. So this means they are releasing CO2. Further, if they are drained and degraded, they are very dry, so they become prone for forest fires. And if this carbon that has been storage now within the peatlands escapes the atmosphere, the consequences are devastational. I think all of us, we want to fight so that our kids can have a cool future. So this is a really big contribution towards it. Peatlands is the area which has peat layer and this, this is the most important thing because peat is storing a lot of carbon, yes, and uh, when peatland is damaged because of agriculture, peat extraction or forestry, all this carbon goes back to the atmosphere. So that's our aim, to restore all the Lithuanian peatlands. We are very lucky with the radar. Uh, I think it's good to do some physical work from time to time and that there's some kind of purpose behind. Everything we can learn uh, is, is adding value to the bank and doing things by yourself is always the best way to learn. First of all, I would like to say, you know, that with the nature, for me personally, is the same as with the homeland. We love the nature by doing, not just by talking. And today, this is the best evidence of that. We gather with our colleagues, we save the peatland, the weather is good, the sun is shining, you know, the physical exercise, the mood is good. And I think by being here today, it's a perfect example that we by ourselves can save uh, the nature and we very much invite our friends, our colleagues, our dear clients and other good people at first possibility to try to join such kind of initiatives. And it's very important that every one of us would ask ourselves how we do save our planet every day. How do we recycle? How do we avoid you know, unnecessary purchases and so on? 